أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم O Prophet, when you do divorce women, divorce them at their prescribed periods and count accurately their prescribed periods and fear Allah your Lord and turn them not out of their houses nor shall they themselves leave except in case they are guilty of some open lewdness. Those are limits set by Allah, and any who transgresses the limits of Allah does verily wrong his own soul. You know not if perhaps Allah will bring about thereafter some new situation. Thus, when they fulfill their term appointed, either take them back on equitable terms or part with them on equitable terms. And take for witness two persons from among you, endued with justice, and establish the evidence as before Allah. Such is the admonition given to him who believes in Allah and the last day. And for those who fear Allah, he ever prepares a way out. And he provides for him from sources he never could imagine. And if anyone puts his trust in Allah, sufficient is Allah for him, for Allah will surely accomplish his purpose. Verily, for all things as Allah appointed a due proportion. Such of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them the prescribed period, if you have any doubts, is three months, and for those who have no courses, it is the same. For those who carry life within their wombs, their period is until they deliver their burdens, and for those who fear Allah, he will make their path easy. That is the command of Allah, which he has sent down to you. And, if anyone fears Allah, he will remove his ills from him, and will enlarge his reward. Let the woman live in Idda, in the same style as you live, according to your means. Annoy them not, so as to restrict them. And if they carry life in their wombs, then spend your substance on them, until they deliver their burden. And, if they suckle your offspring, give them their recompense, and take mutual counsel together, according to what is just and reasonable. And if you find yourselves in difficulties, let another woman suckle the child on the father's behalf. Let the man of means spend according to his means, and the man whose resources are restricted, let him spend according to what Allah has given him. Allah puts no burden on any person beyond what he has given him. After a difficulty, Allah will soon grant relief. How many populations that insolently oppose the command of their Lord and of his messengers did we not then call to account, to severe account, and we imposed on them an exemplary punishment? Then did they taste the evil result of their conduct, and the end of their conduct was perdition. Allah has prepared for them a severe punishment in the hereafter. Therefore, fear Allah. O you men of understanding, who have believed, for Allah has indeed sent down to you a message. A messenger who rehearses to you the signs of Allah containing clear explanations that he may lead forth those who believe and do righteous deeds from the depths of darkness into light. And those who believe in Allah and work righteousness, he will admit to gardens beneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein forever. Allah has indeed granted for them a most excellent provision. Allah is he who created seven firmaments, and of the earth a similar number, through the midst of them all descends his command, that you may know that Allah has power over all things, and that Allah comprehends all things in his knowledge.